There's one for one back to get on the end of. And that is a top quality finish. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to watch the Men's World Cup this, this summer uh, in Brazil. It's going to be fun because, uh, you know, some footballers may admit this or not, but it's stressful, you know, playing and competing in a World Cup. It's fun to actually just watch and be able to be a part, you know, a spectator. Um, the World Cup 2015 in Canada will be amazing. It's close to our home. Uh, you know, Canada is a, a big rival of ours, so that's exciting. And um, I've never won one, so I'm I'm pretty determined, and and I hope that the the chips can fall in in, in our favor. And you never know. Uh, there's so much preparation that goes in, into it, and there's so many things that you can't control that are a part of being in, in a World Cup environment. So I don't know. I'm I'm excited to give it. A, I'm I'm really excited to give it a try. I have to stay with my country. Uh, I think that we've got a tough draw, but um, if we can get some results, maybe uh, we can we can get through to the next round. But uh, you know, I think that the World Cup is so special because um, it's it's a bunch of different countries, people from different worlds, and they come together and they have this likeness. And even if you don't speak the same language, we all speak soccer and we all speak football. So um, that's what's so special about the World Cup in general and uh, people will be in Brazil from all the different countries of the world and it's just going to be amazing to see it happen, you know, and to see the games and how they finish and who ends up being at the top podium and of course I wish it for my country um, and you never know, that's the reality of sport so that's what I think probably keeps the United States uh, folk a little bit hopeful. I think that, I think definitely it was a special moment, not only for me, but I think for my team. Um, and I don't know what Mia would say, but I know that uh, after scoring so many goals, you, you, you reflect and you wonder, you know, how did this happen? Like, it didn't just happen. It, it was a, it's a, a long time coming and it took a lot, a lot of effort, not only by myself, but, you know, my teammates have to put me in positions to score goals and not only do they have to be skilled in their in their uh, position and what they're doing but they have to also not only believe in me but they have to believe in themselves and I think that's what's special about this team and I no doubt am surprised that my teammates were able to uh, gift me with so many goals and I think that that's really how it should be deemed because yeah I think at the end of the day I'm the one putting it in the net but um, there's so many things that happen Re before a goal and so many things that have to be perfect. Yeah, you know, I was recognized for sure. I think his, his kids play soccer um, and to be recognized by the president is a big deal, but you know, I think more than that, um, you know, the phone calls that I got, the text messages from Mia that we're just congratulatory and proud. Those are the ones that you know really matter. Um, you know, I've I've never met our president, so it was cool. Had a cool factor, but uh, I definitely appreciated you know the, the friends and family members that that contacted me right right and around the, the actual goal.